How to use colors, bolds, italic, and underlines in a resume. To get an idea about that, I'm going to show you this uh, newspaper called New York Times, Wall Street Journal. If you look at them, they're very, they don't use any colors. Very plain and simple, black and white. No colors, so don't use colors in resume. Second thing, the underlines. Do not use underline in a resume. Keep it simple. The maximum you can do may be bold and bold title, bold heading, and plain simple text. Let look at New York Times. Same thing. Bold title, plain simple text. Sometimes they do italic, but most papers just bold headings like this uh, Wall Street Journal and plain text. Now, if you go, I'm going to show you some samples. So this one is plainly written. The headings are created by using caps, small, and shaded. And the subheadings are created using these bullet points, dark bullet points. And the lighter bullet points are the content after the subheadings. Now, you could use some bolds like this one. You could use the uh, subheadings. You could bold that. If you do it, keep it simple and consistent all through the resume. You can do the same thing, but just use italic. Avoid bold completely. Uh, however, remember that the italic bold, they're both difficult to read. The easiest thing to read is plain, simple text. So it is. if you use bold italic, be very minimalistic about it. And don't do bold or italic on this. Just, just no. Just for the headings subheadings maybe uh, and then colors no underline no